Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn about how to authenticate user with Google. And in the upcoming video, we will be learning how to authenticate user with Facebook. So, now let's get started without wasting further time. I am going to Firebase console and it's already open. Click on authentication. Uh, and in the last video, we have basically created two users and already login and forgot password for that particular user. Uh, this is the authentication dashboard. It says that provider is email and password. Uh, this user is created on 25th March. Signed in and user ID is this, right? This is enough information for user management. And now let's click on sign in method. So we have already enabled email and password. Now let's enable Google. So for en enabling Google, it is saying that uh, project support email. We have to select one, and this is my default. And uh, there are few steps that must be uh, did do before acting uh, Google authentication. Google sign in is automatic configured on your connected Apple and web apps, right? So there is no need to do anything in uh, inside of Apple and web apps to set Google sign in for your Android apps. So like uh, I use uh, iOS simulator because iOS simulator is kind of a little hard to work on iOS side. So that is why I have started with iOS. But in case of Google, there is nothing required for iOS. But the thing that is required is for Android side. You need to add SHE1 fingerprint for each app on your project setting. Like if you have Android, uh, mean you want to work with Android and first you have to add SHE1 into the project section, right? So now let's click on this link and click on save. So we have enabled Google sign in and it is in the way. Okay. Yeah. It is saying uh, download latest configuration file. Uh, but before we have to add our SHE1, I am going to show you. Uh, in this link, it is saying that if you are using Mac, right? Where it is? Or leave this link I'm going to open another how to get SHE one fingerprint right and with the very first link I have used that link so many times so it have very accurate answer for this so there are kind of two things uh, one is for the release and one is for the debug mode right so uh, currently I'm on Mac so I'm going to use this but if you are on the Windows you also have a solution for this right all the all these solution are working fine so I'm on Mac I'm going to copy this I have double clicked on it command C and now let's run this command into the terminal and yeah it automatically uh, started the link and did have provided me SHE1 and SHE256 so going to copy this I have copied and now moving toward our firebase and then click on setting and project setting yeah in case of android we have to paste it and in case of apple we don't require it. click on add fingerprint and paste it here so it automatically detected that this is sh1 fingerprint and click on save now we have to again download service google service json file just for android right it is downloaded let me show in finder and uh, going to paste one here in the app 
okay so inside android app we have to question that I think in the last video I have not uh, copied Google service file so make sure you already paste it inside the app folder so yeah that's it <clears throat> I'm set I'm done with uh, creating Google sign-in configuration from uh, Firebase now let's move to another website my favorite website is called Flutterfire it have pretty clear instruction on how to configure Google sign-in and Flutter application click on get started and move toward authentication uh, social authentication and click on Google so it is saying that first of all you have to install uh, this plugin right Google sign in and that version we have to go over towards our pubspec.yml file and over here we have to paste and pub get and it is saying that you have to copy this particular method they have already written for us now let's click on copy and doing, going towards our auth controller paste it over here and let's copy import from here to the top so this method is already given by Flutterfire or the official Flutter group it is saying Google sign in account is basically the window pop up from where we will select one account and after selecting account it will get uh, Google sign in authentication parameters for that particular account and then they will create a credential object from the selected account and once we get the credential of the selected user then we have very useful method in the firebase it's called sign in with credential like you guys can see in the previous video we have sign in with email and password so in this case we are going to sign in with credential so uh, i'm not going to return anything from here also let's remove a bit and same case is dot then and catch error dot then will be called once we are successfully uh, sign in now I'm going to also let's remove this successful full logged in right in case of error dot catch error error in getting login right we also have to print the error here <clears throat> so in case of sign in let's again redirect it towards the home screen but there we will be working a little bit on profile screen as well so in this video I'm just demonstrating you so instead of profile screen I'm directing him towards the home screen right and doing same thing again for the is loading purpose so once this method is called we have to make it uh, loading and once lo this method is called we have to make it false also in catch error as well the better way is by calling try catch and finally what I'm doing in this video like this right so let's check if we have anything no so that's it guys that's all code and configuration from firebase side and uh, flutter fire side now just run the application uh, as application get run I will be resuming the video okay guys I have tried to run uh, app but I got some error I want to share it with you guys so basically it is saying that uh, cannot run with sound and safety 
because the following dependency does not support null safety. So we have copied the dependency from the Flutter file. This version, this one, uh, with this version, right? So when I search for that particular version, it was not a, uh, it was not inside uh, null safety. So what I have did, I just double click on this and open the browser and search for this plugin right and try to install the latest version so in my case 5.2.4 is the latest so i just click on this and I'm going to paste it over here <coughs> get and yeah i i forgot few things uh, in case of Android, we don't have configuration from the plugin side. But in case of iOS, we have few configurations from the plugin side, right? It is saying put me in your my project iOS runner dot info dot plist file. So it's very simple. We don't have to do. We just have to uh, change this particular string with our own from uh, Google service info dot PDS file. So I'm going to copy this and now let's move to our info dot p list. Right? It's inside iOS runner folder. And let's paste it at the end, right? So we have to we have to remove few things. Oh sorry not at the end inside the dis dis i mean the dictionary so this is key and this is string key string key string so let's try to paste somewhere i think here will be okay or uh, let's paste it side here right and it is saying copied from Google search info plist by key a reserved client ID. And now let's look for this iOS runner Google service info dot plist and the reversed where it is yeah a reverse client ID. So we have to copy this inside info playlist and we have to replace it over here right now let's again try to run app i will be coming when it's running app is now running and now let's move to the actual thing uh, basically when google is clicked we have to call the function right i'm inside the login sign up widget and inside that particular widget i have my custom widget social app icon when if i show you it's basically uh, this widget that i have created with a container and some box decoration so inside google.png i just called auth controller dot sign in with google let's see sign in with google as we have already explored it is doing some good stuff and then registering credential with our firebase once it's successful then it is redirecting us to the home screen otherwise it is it will be uh, found out with the error now let's click on google so yeah it is saying that would you like to access continue and now it is fetching a uh, device related information so it got this kind of information from the device and once i click on this account so credential of that particular account will be loaded into the app and then registered with firebase all right it is in the way let's wait basically it is not taking that much time but as my system is little bit slow that is why it is consuming more time okay some error is thrown it is saying that 
x is token should not equal to null okay maybe it's an internet issue and let's again restart I have restarted get started click continue click on this account and yeah guys I think it was internet issue that is why it was taking time so hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed this video uh, that, that video was all about how to login user with uh, Google uh, thanks for watching the video